Hello everyone, I'm going to do a detailed review on this GE Profile 2.0 Opal Ice Maker. Model number XP1023SCSS. So this has an optional side tank that it can come with it to hold extra water. But this one you don't need it. It is a self-contained unit that it will work by itself without that extra tank on the side. So you get a scoop. This is a drip tray. Here's where the ice is. And then right here, you're going to have to put water in here to make ice. So this is where you're going to have to put water. That's just a screen. Um, they, do have, they do sell an optional filter, but this one doesn't come with the filter. It's a lot bigger that plugs into the intake right there. Very simple to operate. It's got a power, a light, and a cleaning button. And it's got some lights over here that's going to show up. Here's what it looks on the left side. Now we do have these two tubes right here. And these are for draining the machine. Or the other one is if that external tank is on the side, you're gonna need one of those tubes for that. But otherwise, if you're using the unit just the way it is, you're gonna store them in this little gray thing. That's like they're plugged off and nothing will come out. It does have a nice long cord on it. it says it's 120 volts, 60 Hertz, 3.0 amps. So the cord is a three prong angled cord and it's six feet long. So it's a really long cord. So dimensions front to back is about 16, but with the drip tray, it's about 20. Height wise, it's only about 16 and three quarters. It does fit under kitchen cabinets, which are usually around 19 inches. So this will fit under kitchen cabinets just fine. And left to right, you're looking at about 10 and a quarter inches. So this is where the ice is gonna be contained. It's, it's relatively big. You know, it's about eight inches by five and a half deep by about five. So when you first set this up, you do have to run just a tablespoon of bleach through it with a bunch of water. You're gonna do five cups of water, one tablespoon of bleach, and then you gotta do a bunch of fresh water rinses to kind of clean the machine out before you use it. So when you're doing that, it's nice to have it close to a sink because you're gonna be using these drain tubes quite a bit to drain that into the sink. But once you've got it up and running, you don't have to have it close to a sink because you're not gonna be draining it that often. I've already, check out my video where I already set it up, so I've already rinsed it out really well and cleaned it up really good. So now I'm ready to add my water. Adding the water can be a little tricky just because there's not room, much room to get a big container in here and pour it in. So I'm gonna pour water up. It says max fill right here. So I gotta pour a lot more water in. So it holds about 96 ounces, ounces which is 12 cups of water. Now this does have a drain in it. So the thing that holds the ice, it does have a drain in the bottom of it. So as the ice melts, so it's gonna produce ice in here and then the ice will melt over time. It's gonna melt right back into the water holding tank. So if you don't use the ice a lot, what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna, it's gonna make ice, it's gonna melt, and then it's gonna keep recirculating that, that ice that it made. Then you might have to drain it. So it says if you haven't used it for a while, it may not taste the best because all it's doing is recirculating that same water. But if you are continuously using the ice and adding water, then you really don't have to drain it that much. Okay, so I put the ice chamber in. Let's just turn the power. All you gotta do is turn the power on and it says it's making ice. It's as simple as that. It does have a light button, which turns a light on to show to shine in there, see how much ice is there. So people are gonna ask how loud is it? So it's not super loud right now. I can hear a fan running, and I'll do different uh, noise level checks as it, as it progresses. But it doesn't sound super loud. I mean, I can definitely hear it running, but it doesn't sound super loud like a fan running. Which I can feel that that fan right there is running. And there's also something else inside running. So again, make sure your tubes are nice and stored. They've got little hooks for them, and they do stick out just a little bit, but not too much. This is how it's gonna be when it's making ice. Okay, so even though it says it's making ice, I do see some water coming down in there. So it must be all part of the process. So it does come with a pretty nice manual. Now it does say that the empty weight without water and ice is 38 pounds. So it is, it is pretty heavy. And it says that ice making rate is 24 pounds per day, one pound per hour. Now it does have Wi-Fi. You can also connect this to your smartphone. 
It says the Opal connected to the Wi-Fi. Okay, so after about five minutes, looks like the water has stopped running into the bucket here. Now I did hear like the refrigerant kick on, like, uh, I, like an ice box does. You hear a compressor kick on. Now it's got a little bit of a humming sound to it now with the fan. So the display will display, it has a Wi-Fi light, it has a making ice light, it has a defrosting light, it has an add water light, and a cleaning light. These are all the lights. Now you really can't see them until they're lit up on the left side. They're, these are not buttons over here. These are the actual buttons. It says the light has three modes. It has a dim, high, and off. Okay, so I'm, it's been about eight minutes now. I do hear like a motor in there a little bit turning. I hear the compressor, a fan, and a little motor. Here's where it talks about that optional water filter. It's a lot bigger. This unit did not come with it, but you can get an optional water filter to help with taste. It also comes with a side tank, like I talked about earlier. This model does not come, and you don't need a side tank to, um, to use the unit. But a side tank is a water tank, so it'll hold extra water. And you'll use one of those tubes. There's kind of a picture of what it'll look like. Okay, so it's been about eight minutes and it's starting to chunk out some ice, but it doesn't look very good. It's like chop ice. Okay, so it's starting to come out. It's starting to look a little bit better, the ice that's coming out. I'll show you the light. So it starts off at bright, and then there's dim, and then off. And when it's dim, it's not flickering in real life. It's just the video making it flicker. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. That's the, that's the amount of ice I've got. It's made this constant, like humming and kind of a motor noise the entire time. Here's what it looks like. Yeah, the ice definitely got looking a lot, a lot, a lot better. But that's been about 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been one hour, and that's how much ice we've gotten. So let's, let's use the scoop. Let's get some ice out. Now I do like that this comes out and it stays. It's got like a latch that makes it stay right there. Let's take a look at the ice. You know, it looks, it looks really good. Okay, so let's add a drink to it. So there's what the drink will look like. Tastes pretty good. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the ice. So the ice is kind of melted. You know, it's not super frozen ice, but the ice itself is pretty good. It's just got, it seems like it does have a lot of water that's around it. So even though the ice is a little melted, like there's a little bit of water with it, but the ice cubes itself are really solid. They're just kind of wet. And you kind of notice that at the bottom of the tray, like the ice that's really fresh looks really frozen, but the more it goes down, you can tell it's starting to melt. Like you can see there's a, there is some water in the tray with it. Now, how insulated is this? I'm not really sure, I mean, this that ice is going to continuously continuously melt it's not like a refrigerator that keeps ice from melting that's not what this is it just makes ice and it puts it in this bin and it's up to you to kind of use it or it's just going to keep melting and keep making ice but when it's in a drink you know it, it looks like it's lasting i didn't i didn't notice that it watered down this drink at all hardly um, but it is lasting quite a bit and it does taste good and it's got that nice crunchy ice to it. So as far as sound, the sound hasn't changed. After about the first minute, it's been this constant kind of fan. It's been a constant uh, ice, the ice kind of dropping. Now when the ice drops, that's not really loud, but you do hear it a little bit. 
But again, you hear kind of a motor, kind of a fan, and kind of the compressor. Three things you hear. And again, this has only been running one hour. Let's just take a look. There's how much water it's used already. And up here is where the ice, it just falls out back there. And there's the light. Yeah, so the big thing for me is gonna be, you know, this is not a refrigerator, this is not an ice box. This isn't gonna keep that ice from melting. Um, time will tell how much I use it and how well I use it, but that's gonna be a little tricky. Otherwise, it's just gonna keep making ice. And I could see where the water might get a little stale you know, if you left this running and you didn't use much ice, so the ice melts, it keeps remaking it, and it keeps using that same water over and over again. So if that's the case, and you want fresh uh, ice, dump the ice out and drain, use the drains on the back of the machine to drain out the water that's in that tank, and then fill it up with fresh water. Okay, so that took about two, about an hour and a half, almost two hours to fill completely up. Now it does stop making ice automatically. So even though I've still got the power light is on, but the making ice light went away. So again, there's really nothing to keep that cold. That ice will eventually melt. Let's see if it starts automatically. Oh yeah. So when it goes below those sensors, it starts making ice again automatically. So yeah, that made a bunch of ice. And we still do have a little bit of water left in there. So basically, there is two sensors up here. When the ice gets above those sensors, it will stop the ice maker automatically. And then when it melts down or you take some ice out, it will start up again automatically. And you definitely need the drip tray. So I haven't been using this very much, but for some reason you do get a little bit of water there and the drip tray does catch it. Now this does have a cleaning mode and you do need to descale it with vinegar. So I'm going to do a separate video on how to descale and clean this with vinegar. Thanks everybody for watching.